I'm a Vietnam veteran. I spent the year 1969 in MACV headquarters. I had mil I was, uh, military intelligence, had a top secret clearance, and worked with bomb damage assessment of B-52 strikes. Look around you today, and if you see a guy with one of these hats on or a shirt, thank him. Thank him for the service, and thank him for being with you. Thank them for participating. And, you know, I go to meetings, and I sit around that room, and I look at all the veterans for peace, and I say, my God, you know, these are the patriots. These are the people. It's easy to be for war, ladies and gentlemen. It's hard being for peace. And these folks are out there, out front, you know, doing it. I would like to invite all the veterans who are here, come on up. All the veterans, come on on stage. Come on with me. friend who happens to be the oldest veteran up here. He was in the in the Lady of Gulf, I mean uh, uh, the uh, uh, Leyte Gulf battle in the Second World War. Paul Brailsford. 91 years old. 91 years young. Thanks, Paul. And to all of you here, young and old, you're all veterans of wars. And don't forget, we have an associate membership of Veterans for Peace, since you all are veterans. And we don't want any more veterans. Who <laughs> live? Go left, go left, right, left. Go left, right, left. Go left to right now, pick up, step. Go left to right, your left. Sound off, one, two. Sound off, three, four. Break it on down, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. I started in the army at 21. I got out at 23. I'm mighty glad to be going home. And once again, was free. Was a mistake. I could see that nasty head from the one. Let me tell you, be a cold man, hell, before we can carry a gun. I know in 1968 just what I went fighting for. Would have told old Wall Street to fight their own lousy war. Now this is 2007, one thing I am sure. This decorated kid that ain't fighting anymore. Well, no more green, the combat boots. No more angels, doggy tie. No, we still have dreams on the band for me. In the mountain body pie. So many friends have died for peace. A peace that never came. Please listen when I say to you, any war is insane. If I'd known in 1968 just what we're fighting for, would have told a wall street to fight their own lousy war. Now this is 2007, one thing I am sure, this decorated kid that ain't fucking anymore. Woo! 58,000 dead, 100,000 men, with all our bombs and bullets, Vietnam will not be tamed. My brothers are still dying, age and arms and village trust. But do we get our rightful treatment? Be vets, we will not rest. If I know in 1968 just what we're fighting for, would have told a Wall Street to fight their own lousy war. Now this is 2007, one thing I am sure, this decorated kid that ain't fighting anymore. Well, one thing I'm sure of now, I'd never do it again. Only wish, but I know now, I knew way back when. Or if way back in 68, I knew what I now know. When Uncle Sam said, I want you, boy. I'd say, hell no, we won't go. I'd say, hell no, we won't go. If I'd known in 1968 just what we were fighting for. Would have told a Wall Street to fight your own lousy war. Now this is 2007, one thing I am sure. This decorated BFF ain't fighting anymore. Hooray!
Well, the days of war in Vietnam it took by so very fast. Another war built on lies, just like in the past. If you want to stop this conflict, stand and shout out loud. Stop the killing, stop the war, bring the troops home now. Everybody, stop the killing, stop the war, bring the troops home now. Stop the killing, stop the war, bring the troops home now. Stop the killing, stop the war, bring the troops home now. Stop the killing, stop the war, bring the troops home now. Stop the killing, stop the war, bring the troops home now.